WordPress ships with a special file which allows you to customize your URLs. If you've already set this up before, you will have done this from the settings, permalinks, and then set the URL structure to one of the options below. If all this worked fine, then you can happily proceed with the HT Access Maker part of Admin Tools. You will find the HT Access Maker in the Security section. Remember, if you've already been able to create without any modification the HT Access file, then you can happily proceed with this section. However, you should know that any changes made here have the possibility of completely blocking your entire website. So before you proceed, you should make sure that you have FTP or some hosting control panel file manager access to get your site back online just in case something goes wrong. If, when you used WordPress's own HD access file, you had to make some edits for it to work on your web host, you will find those right down at the bottom of this file. The most likely ones that you changed were to set the follow sim links to yes and the base directory of your site from slash to some subdirectory. If you were able to make WordPress's own HT access file work without any changes, you can simply leave these as the default. If we scroll back to the top, we can see this HT access maker includes various options to enhance the basic security of your website. Each one of these is documented in the Admin Tools documentation section of the AkibaBackup.com website. Remember, defaults are there for a very good reason, and if you don't know what something is, then you should leave it alone. In addition to some website security, there is also some additional server protection that is provided. Some plugins may work in a non-standard way and you will have to provide exceptions to allow direct access to their files. In addition, we have the opportunity to create some custom HD access rules. If you don't know what these are, don't worry about it, it doesn't apply to you. But if you've had to create some already, then this is where you will add them. If you had previously added some code to change your PHP version, for example, you should copy that code here. Otherwise, your host may default to a very old version of PHP. The final section, Optimization and Utility, adds some additional tweaks to your website, and you shouldn't need to change these. When you are happy with the settings, click on the Save and Create HD Access button. Your new HD Access file has been written to the disk, and a backup of the old one has been taken. At this point, you must check to make sure that every part of your website is working as it did before. It should, but as mentioned before, it may be necessary to add some exceptions for some of your plugins. If for some reason your website is now completely blank for you and you have a 500 error, you should use your FTP program or your web host file manager to locate the .htaccess file in the root of your web space. Rename this file, perhaps to .htaccessnew, to prevent it from working, and your website will reload. You should then return to Admin Tools and the HT Access Maker and review the settings until your website is working perfectly.